Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again, and then, um, let me go ahead and intro this real quick, um, and, uh, again, this is one of those that came from Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse, um, one of my, one of my favorite channels, um, and I'm, I might have played this one once before, but, um, I just kind of, I just kind of ran out of, ran out of ideas for something else to play, and, um, since it's Monday, there's gonna be that chance where, where uh, my um, ISP Charter Spectrum might decide to do maintenance on internet, so um, they might end up shutting it down here about an hour from now, or I should say 45 minutes at midnight. So it's 11:15 p.m. where I'm at. So I got about 45 minutes to get this cast done and then get it all uploaded and squared away and all that. Again, there's gonna be a chance that they'll uh, they're gonna shut my internet down. So, but in case I didn't say already. This is going to be Hallucinomorphs in Orbit, uh, the Dark Ambient Hour. So, let me go ahead and rewind her back and get her going. Okay. Alright, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. So. Uh, but. Otherwise, it's been a fairly busy day today. Um. I started my stream, and this time around, it came out a little bit better, uh, but not quite my ideal. Um, I managed to play uh, I managed to play FX3 for probably about 45 minutes, and then it decided to crash on me. So, but at least I got some time in with it. Um, pinball Arcade, nope, that was a no go. So that one there, that one there crashed uh, right from the outset. But, uh, so, I had no choice but to fire up some Zachariah Pinball. Um, I think I played it for, I want to say about a, about an hour and a half. I, I think I tried going back to FX3 once more. Um, I, I think I was able to play again for like a few minutes, but it, once again, it ended up crashing, so, went back to Zachariah, and I think I played it for another half hour 45 minutes and then after that uh 5 p.m cut off had to get my blog posted and everything so i ended up calling it ended up calling it a sesh so i'm gonna i'm gonna take a drink of some arizona green tea hold on and uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna kill a few windows here i got too many sticking out And, oh, 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 hang on, YouTube's fucking up, I gotta fix this. Okay, there we go, that should have done it. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up from my end, so, because this is some pretty quiet music. So... I guess I'll, I guess before I continue, let me go ahead and say that, uh, right now, uh, with this kind of music, I have it up full blast. I did do a sound check on this, but, um, if it is too loud for you guys, uh, feel free to let me know, but, um, also, once again, I have this up full blast. I have this on full blast on YouTube, and I have it, up. Uh, I have a full blast on my headphones. But looking at my OBS right now, it's barely registering. I think it's in the uh, the 25% range. So it, it's, it's, chances are this might be one of those situations where, and I've had this happen before, where to you guys it's loud as hell, but you know, but in my headphones it's it's normal range according to my uh, my sound meter. Or, yeah, my sound mixer meter on OBS, it's also in the normal range, so. This might be one of those situations where it's really hard to get the sound right, so. But, anyway, um, back to the cast, um, but, but going forward, it, it looks like it's just gonna be a rinse and repeat, um, play FX3 until it crashes, play Arcade until it crashes, and then head straight to Zachariah, which 
for those that don't know, I'm not a really huge fan of Zachariah Pinball. It just overall, it is I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of it. But under the circumstances, I might end up having to play Zachariah a lot longer now. Because uh, again, um, I only care for Zachariah in small doses, maybe like half hour, 45 minutes. But again, due to circumstances pretty much beyond my control, I'm probably going to have to play Zach a lot more, a lot longer. I mean, I'd like to play Killer Instinct, but the way my computer is, if FX3 doesn't work, then a lot of other games aren't going to work either, including Killer Instinct. So, and, uh... I want to say... I don't think it was during the session, but I think shortly after it, and shortly after I uh, got my uh, Final Fantasy XIV blog posted up, I started up. I went on Newegg.com, and I went ahead and, um... I put together another computer, and um, or yeah, they have a they have a section in their website where you can build your own PC, which is what I did. Um, basically, the computer I made is statistically twice as good as the one I have now, and the total cost ran up. To, I think it was like fifteen hundred dollars. So yeah, that's fifteen hundred dollars that I don't have. Unless I get a whole shit ton of money from somewhere that I that I don't have to put on bills or anything. So, but, uh, but yeah, I was looking at um, and I was looking at a lot of pre-built too. Um, your for for the PC that I put together, um, the pre-built the pre-built versions of this, you were looking at anywhere between two to twenty-five hundred dollars. So, and I, I've done I've done this before, like some odd year, like some odd years ago, I put together another computer. Um, back then, it was only slightly cheaper to just buy all the parts separately and get it assembled somehow. But now I'm I'm not gonna make it off like a bandit. It'd be about it'd be about five hundred bucks cheaper, or let me rephrase it, it'd be it'd be. It'd be at least four hundred dollars cheaper, because again, with the money I got, the money I got to plunk down for this new computer, I don't trust myself to build it myself. Not when there's that much money involved. So, yeah, I would just as soon as hand it off to a professional and have them install it. I'll pay the extra hundred plus. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink. So, you know, and if, you know, if I only had to spend maybe $102 on computer parts, yeah, I'd put put it together myself, you know. That way, so if I fuck it up, then it, I'm I'm only out 100 200 bucks, not no 1500 So. Uh, but I think I said this during my stream, too. Um, and I guess for those that don't know, I most... The, the problems I'm having with the crashes, I think it's down to, uh, it's down to the, uh, graphics card and or the drivers. And something else I've been forgetting to mention for ever since the, these crashes started occurring. Um, the proper way, or I should say, the, um, the graphics card drivers I have now, um, I'm installing them, and it shows that they are being installed, but, um, the the driver the driver version or the when you look in the uh, the AMD menu the AMD menus it still shows that it's the uh, original version now you're supposed ideally you're supposed to do what's called a clean install a clean one where you uninstall the drivers first then then install the new ones but really I I can't really do that because um, I also have another problem, Windows Update. Like I actually, um, I actually went on the uh, the AMD, you know the the AMD menu, and tried to install the new drivers on there, but it, it said it couldn't do it because 
um, Windows needs to be updated. Well, there's a little problem with that because some odd years ago, I think back in uh, 2019, yeah, it, the when I when I when I try to get this fixed, it it showed me the last year or the last the last time that my Windows updated. It was like back in 2019, someplace about three years ago. But I just I was having a I was having a problem with uh with a Windows update. It would just right out of the blue hijack my computer. Just all of a sudden use up all my resources to you know to start start doing its update thing, you know, and sometimes even at a most inopportune time, like if I'm in the middle of a stream or something. Um and I I think I did try disabling Windows update, but I got a pop up saying access is denied. So I couldn't. But it was really driving me up a freaking wall though. So um I started looking around on Google and I found what was basically the ultimate solution. I had to I had to go I had to go on a certain file. I don't know what it was. But uh I had to check my I had to check the box that said read only. It was just this one single file and I just had to make that file a read only file. And that that stopped uh, Windows update from working. So now the problem I'm having is I don't know where that one file is. But I I have been googling, you know, trying to get Windows update back going again. But um it's given me damn near every other solution but the one I used. So I don't know where to look. I don't know I don't really know what to type down and and you know it's it, you know Google is still a search engine. The more information I give it, the more can you know the more likely I'm going to confuse it, or the more likely I'm going to get Google did not find anything in your search, you know, or something like that. So, or it'll probably give me a website direct showing me a, showing me how to peel apples or something. So. So there's that as well. That that also kind of factors into um, me basically just having to get a whole new computer. But um, I guess uh, these days there's um there are ways to to stop Windows Update from just suddenly starting up. But these options weren't available to me back then. Like I said, when Windows when up when Windows Update wants to start, it's gonna start. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink here. So So another another thing I was considering too, um so I know the uh, the fighting game fantasy strike um Hang on, brain kind of farted. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to go. I don't want to go chase it down anyway. But uh, um. One other game that I, one other fighting game that I used to play, um, when I first got into fighting games was Fantasy Strike. Um, I'm mechanically, I think it's a fucking awesome game. The problem is, is the aesthetics. I might have said this in one of my other casts too, but it's just like the, the lore, the story, the dialogue, and all that. It just, oh, oh, okay. Um, interrupt, interrupt, interrupt. Something else I forgot to mention too. Um. There's um, I think there's a thunderstorm rolling in here. That was another reason why I want to get this done. Um, yeah, there's a there's a T storm rolling in. Um, so I, because right now my uh, lamp it just flickered, and I can I can kind of hear the uh, wind blowing out there. You can hear the the leaves on the tree in front of me. Shh, you know that kind of thing. So yeah, that was another reason why I was trying to get this done. But anyway, um. But uh, what I'm saying here does is I totally forgot to add this part to the cast, but um, I'm also considering going back to playing Fantasy Strike. Because, uh, again, mechanically I like it, 
But it's just the uh, lore, story, dialogue. It's like it's like a tiny tune. It's like a tiny tune adventures was a fighting game. I mean, you must just put all the characters into a room and have them go. We're tiny. We're Tony. We're just a little loony. You know, it just oh god, all kinds of cringe, awkward, and eye roll. So, but again, but on the upside though, at least it works. Um, granted, I haven't I haven't actually streamed it uh, in a long time. I might actually consider doing that. So, I was thinking about something else, too. Oh, something else about, uh, I started thinking about this, about Killer Instinct, too. Um, oh, let me, let me back, let me rewind back to the, my original path, for lack of a better word, but, um, I also played some Gems of War. I played it for about an hour. Um, it's a new, it's a new week now, it's a new PvP week, so I just played it for a while just to get myself back to Tier 1. You start at, you start at Tier 15 at the start of a new week, and you have, you know, you have to win matches and stuff, try to, you know, win your way back to tier, up to Tier 1, so it took me about an hour, got that, and then called it good on that, and then... I fired up another game that I hadn't played in a while called Pocket Bravery. It's another fighting game. Um, it's still in, um, I don't want to say early access, but I think it's still in demo mode. So, I mean, pretty cool game. Um, I've actually demonstrated it in one of my earlier cast videos. But, um, but yeah, like I said, did a little bit of training mode, a little bit of versus. Um, nothing too committal. Um, switched over to Killer Instinct. And just like it's been going on the past few days, when I try to stream Killer Instinct, like in the afternoon, it don't work. But off stream later on in the evening, it works just fine. So, there's something else I was thinking of too. In that context there, it might be the graphics card itself that, I, that, that I'm having a problem with. Because something I was thinking of, I just thought of too, um, whenever I'm streaming, it, streaming uses up a lot of CPU, but it also uses up a fair amount of graphics as well. And um, I think on my OBS setting, I do have it set to where, in fact, I could probably, I hope this isn't going to ruin my cast video, but I want to double check this. Oh, damn, I got to set to ultra fast. I got to set up to the max. So. So I have the, um, I had it set to ultra fast, which uh, uses less CPU, but puts most of the stress on the graphics. So, but on the other hand, too, I have to have it set like that just to be able to stream. So, but I'm thinking maybe, maybe it's the streaming itself that's keeping Killer Instinct from running. Because, like I said, like I said a few moments ago, for the past three days, Killer Instinct has been working fine off stream. It's just when I actually try to stream it, is when it just it doesn't work. Which that that doesn't really work either, because. Yeah, I have streamed Killer Instinct before. So yeah, it, it it's just me. But like like I said, I just, it was just this recent trend that I've noticed. Killer Instinct works when I'm not streaming it. So I'm thinking maybe it might be a it might very well be just the graphics card itself. So, um. But yeah, kind of moving along. Um, also, for the past uh, two or three days, it's been around 100 degrees. I mean, I have my air conditioner turned off right now. But uh, once uh, once I'm done with this cast, I'll probably turn it back on again. But yeah, I yeah, because it's almost 80 degrees again, 
or it's almost 80 degrees right now. It was uh, it was 72 when I turned the AC off, and yeah, like I said, now it's it's back up to 80 now. So, and I'm guessing it's probably 90 degrees at least outside right now. But earlier, earlier when I went grocery shopping, it was like a hundred. It's been a real scorcher the past few days, but like, so this is really gonna jack up my electric bill. Because, like I said, I pretty much have to have the AC on all the time now. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it down a little bit. Because, yeah, it's it's at a point now where it shows my uh, sound meter is a little bit higher than what I want it to be. So... Um... Oh, and kind of a kind of a side note, in this kind of, I guess I'd call it an honorable mention, but I I ended up forgetting to do laundry today, so kind of a might sound like a little bit of a nitpick, but uh, I try to do it on on Monday evening because there's nobody down there, there or it's less likely to have anybody down there at this time of night or at this part of the week any other time of the week that I've tried doing laundry it's like I'm having to I'm having to deal with other people you know you know are you know putting their putting their loads down there and stuff so I like going down there on Monday evening because I get pretty much the whole room to myself so I'm trying to hit them where they ain't but like I said my brain kind of farted today so I kind of missed my uh, laundry window I mean, they close at 10 p.m., so in case anyone asks, no, I can't bring it down there right now. So, I'll have to wait till uh, Tuesday evening. Maybe I'll get super duper lucky and there won't be anybody down there. Oh, and uh, there's only uh, there's only four washers and four dryers down there, but uh, despite the fact that management has put uh, put notices down there saying don't hog the laundry room or the, the short answer, don't be a dick. Some people still do anyway. So. Alrighty, so that's going to do it for me, everybody. I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here. I think I've said all the things that I wanted to say today, so I want to get this up. Uh, I want to get this cast video uh, uploaded to YouTube ASAP before midnight hits. So, um, But otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, though, everybody. I appreciate that. Always do. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, oh, and a uh, side note, side note. Um, I am going to be off again on Wednesday. Um, and technically, I'm also off on Thursday this week. Um, they're, they're cutting hours, apparently. Uh, and they're starting with the part-time people like myself, but as uh, I really can't be off off of work this much, I might go. I might decide to go ahead and come in on Thursday anyway. I mean, I called in on Friday. I called in last Friday, so this is gonna be kind of a makeup day. But but yeah, I'll, I'll I might talk more about that tomorrow on Wednesday. But until then, though, take care, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.